All right, everyone, this one's being recorded live, uh, showing rudder control setup. I picked the uh, I-183 <coughs> since it has a very good rate of roll, which also helps kind of show off what it can do. And I've got a keyboard overlay in the bottom left there to show you what I'm doing. So just to begin with, your basic mouse control. Again, the, the plane just tries to follow the pointer of the mouse, wherever it's going, whatever it's doing. It'll do whatever it can to most efficiently, efficiently get there. Um, and so on top of that, most people have you know, the W and S key slave to boost and, and break, and then A and D slave to roll. I do have A and D on roll still. So that's a roll, right? A, D. So here's how I've changed my keyboard. Mouse pointer, A, D. Here's my rudders. My rudders are on Q, which gives you a nice horizontal flat turn to the left. Now, one of the things that happens is if you do this with the camera off, guess what's going to happen? You know, the, mouse, the mouse is it's trying to get back to the mouse, right? So it immediately cocks the other way. So you got to be careful about that. And then E, of course, flat turn to the right. If you're uh, elevated a little bit, by the way, watch this. You'll do sort of that same horizontal turn, um, but in a different style. So I start at plus 10. By the time I hit 180 degrees the other direction, I'll be at negative 10. So again, it's just that pure... It's horizontal axis, but even when it's tilted, right, it maintains that circle. If you do it all the way, by the way, to uh, 360 degrees to get back, you won't get that camera walk. Or if you follow the camera with the plane, then it won't try to follow your mouse. We're getting too close to the enemy bot over there, so I'm going to boost away for a second. Now, you might notice something out of boosting. My boost key is not where your boost key is, most likely. So I have boost slave to shift. And I have break slave to control. This is a little bit like War Thunder setup, although they do the throttle on shift and air. Uh, World of Warplanes throttle isn't used a whole lot. Uh, probably could be. You'd probably need another good thing to, to look at and test and, and check. Uh, but I just don't use it right now. So all right. So regular loop, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go through maneuver through these peaks using nothing but the mouse. I want you to watch. So as best I can, you know, trying to okay, avoid stuff. Okay, the, man, the mouse controls the response pretty good, right? I can I can get around things pretty easily, but of course anyone who is also using a mouse could follow that pretty easily. They're just tracing their nose on where I'm at. Now, watch what I'm going to do. And here's the third thing I have, by the way. W and S. S is up. W is down. So watch what happens when I combine... W A S D. Right now, I can do some little fancy maneuvers and psych out, and I can keep going up. I can get up faster, and if I need to, I can nose over faster too. I can keep that key right there. Right, uh, or if I'm diving down, I want to get even lower. Right, I can even do an Immelman you know, using that key if I need to. Of course, now I have a bot on my tail. There's the boost again. I'm going to keep an eye on him. We'll turn away. All right. But what makes things really fun with rudder control, uh, when you have them, like I do, slave to the keyboard, is that you can begin to do some really fancy maneuvers when you are on top of or being chased by the enemy. So watch this time. Hopefully I don't crash like I did in the previous video I'm trying to record this. So we're going to go up. We're going to do this. Now I can spiral. I can use my rudder to come this way, rudder to come that way, do all sorts of things. Uh, if I want to come up and over, if I use the rudder to assist, right, I've got a nice tight spiral. I can even loop out if I need to, cut close to the ground. And when you got that many keys and directions flowing into this, you know, good luck keeping up, right? Uh, I can even tilt over, cap the down key, and then use the rudder to spiral out in an opposite direction. So it just makes you a lot more shifty in the game to be able to do that defensively. And then from an offensive perspective, your time on target is greatly reduced when you've got this slave, right? I can do uh, what's called a displacement roll or a lag roll if someone's on me and I'm, I've got too much energy, I'm coming up on them too fast, and I pull up and I go over them. Now I'm just going to do this and corkscrew down. It's a little bit like the maneuver in Top Gun Maverick, the SU-57 does, although not quite as good, obviously, with a plane like this. But it's a turn in three axes, right? And you can even do it the other way as well, if you prefer. And then you can add your roll dip out of it, or to add more to it. 
So let's see in practicality. Let's go after one of these bots. Of course, since I'm the only guy here, we got AA to deal with. All right, so I'm going to dodge around him. And look, I'm already pulling that rudder. I'm going to kick the boost, and I'm on target immediately. I'm just trace a line here. I don't do anything else. He's down. Oh, no, I'm going to rudder down and come back out after this guy. The other's going to circle around, but it's the heavy, right? I anticipated this. Use the rudder. Oh, it got my tail. Doesn't matter. We're in a loop over and come down on top of him again. So I can do the same thing with the mouse. It just takes longer, right? And so this allows me, and a lot of times time is crucial in this game. Time to kill, time to cap, um, especially when dealing with uh, bombers and the like. So, okay, now I've got bots and aircraft on me. Always take the rear plane. Okay, this is a good place for the displacement roll I was talking about. He's slowing down, right, like bots always do to try and get out of it. I just displace with the roll, and that's all I need to do. So once you get used to it, it's a lot easier to control. Again, just a lot more slippery for you as an aircraft. It allows you to do some things you couldn't otherwise do. And you can try out some different, come into training room like this, try out some combinations. You know, here's a rudder nose up turn, right? And here's a rudder and nose down. Uh, nose up again, excuse me, the other direction. What am I doing? <laughs> and then you can add the uh, controls, the brake and thrust controls to keep you in the optimum speed that you need. What if I go down and rudder? All right, looks kind of funky, but it might allow you to stay on target somewhere. So you just kind of come in and practice these things and then you get to where you can do some really tight spirals once you add the mouse back in, All right? And the other thing is if you're trying to get somebody off your tail, I don't think I have any bots around here, but if they're on my tail, right, I can break, displace. And now I've got all sorts of turns I can do to keep them off of me. And in fact, let's try that. What's, uh, what's the closest zone here? This one probably. Let's go to it. Let me use the boost to get over there. You know, if you got a plane with a high rate of roll like the 180 does, this one has a rate of roll of 200, which is crazy. Uh, you can really combine that yaw maneuverability of the rudder uh, with the rate of roll that you have to do some incredible ac uh, aerobatics, I guess, not acrobatics. All right, let's see if we can get one of these guys on my tail while also avoiding the AA. In fact, let's just go ahead and see. Oh, I forgot this thing only has machine guns, doesn't it? Okay, you notice the nose up there is very helpful. Displacing. Now I've got AA on me again. See if I can finish it. There we go. All right. Okay, now we got a bot too. Ah. Yeah. Any other time, of course, the uh, bots would be all over me, right? Okay. Rolling around his attack. Now I'm going to stand up. Tight turn because of the rudder control. Now back the other way. Again, tight turn because of the rudder control boosting through it. Or I can just do this. Um, I keep my... There we go. Sometimes I get confused. It's more instinct than anything, right? And the enemy bot got shot down. So hopefully that gives you an idea of you know how to set up the keyboard in a different way. It does take some getting used to. It may not be everybody's jam. There may be other ways you want to do it. You may find the nose down key is not great. Um, what I've done though, and one of the reasons I have it set up this way is I found I was using my boost way too much. I just, you know, I'd constantly be hitting that W key to get myself out of trouble. And when it's off of the W and onto the shift, it makes me think a little bit more about it. Uh, what do I really need the boost in this situation? Um, can I conserve it a little bit? It forces me to watch the controls a little better. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Again, it's a unique setup. I don't know if anyone else uses it. Um, I did this specifically to teach myself some of the tail slides uh, that you see came Invictus doing. Uh, he's, he's got a really solid uh, handle on his rudder controls. 
And some of these planes, like the Cutlass that he loves to use, have uh, just an incredible uh, yaw rate on them. And you'll see him put that to good use where he almost uh, almost seems to slide in midair, um, almost do a, a donut fishtail like he would in a car, and just slings that tail around. He's using rudder control to do that, and uh, it's pretty incredible to watch, and it's pretty difficult to deal with in-game. So if you need some good defensive tips or if you want to, like I said, be able to be time on target a little better, uh, do those lag displacement rolls to stay on someone's tail when you need to, uh, this is a great setup for being able to do that. Hope your heart for the Grifton hunt is going well. I haven't even started yet, so I got some missions to do, I guess. I haven't earned any gold or gotten any boxes, um, so we'll see, see what happens this weekend. Uh, but uh, I'll try at least put up some videos for you guys, even if I don't make it through the marathon. So have a good one. Enjoy yourselves, and I hope to catch you again soon.